So today what we'd like to do is go through the basic settings of your Texas BA2 Plus calculator. When we first get it, there's some settings that come with the manufacturer that really don't lend itself well for us to use the calculator in our course, so we need to fix them. As an example, if we do the calculation 1 plus 2 divided by 3 and we go equals, we get the answer 1. But that's not actually the correct answer if we follow the bed mass order of operations. Additionally, if we try an example like 22 divided by 7 and get our answer, we get 3.14, which is an estimation of the number pi. But if you know anything about the number pi, it actually goes out to a lot more decimal places than just 2. So we're going to have to fix a couple of things on our calculator. How we're going to do this is the first thing we're going to look at is to increase the number of decimal places so that we have it in a floating point format. If we click on the second function button and then the decimal key which has format above it, we can see on our display where it says DEC for decimal is equal to 2. So our calculator manufacturer setting has two decimal places as its default. We actually want to change this to 9. So let's click on 9. We can see how the number has changed to 9, but now we don't have an equal sign. In order to actually tell the calculator, I want 9, you have to press the Enter button. And now we can see our decimal equals 9. So to recap, we hit 2nd, Format, click the number of decimal places we want, which was 9, and then don't forget, press the Enters. We can then look at some of the other settings within the calculator by just hitting the down cursor arrow. So if we go down one, we're going to be in degree mode. Now for our course, we don't need to deal with angles, so we can just leave this as it is. If we go down again, we have the US date, which is month, day, and year. And as long as we're aware of this, we can leave this default, and we will be using the date function in further calculations later in the course. If we hit the down arrow again, we can see we have the US display for thousands, which has the comma delimiter. And again, we can keep that one. And if we go down one more time, we can see something called CHN. And this is what's causing the trouble with our order of operations. Currently, the calculator is set to deal with all calculations as a chain. So that's why we're getting the incorrect answers for the numbers that we did before. If we want to change this so that order of operations is followed, we need to hit second and the enter key. And I've switched to now something called AOS. If I try it again and go second and enter key, you can see that if I keep hitting those two keys together, I will toggle between chain and basically order of operations. So what I'd like you to do is hit second and enter and do it as many times as needed in order for you to see AOS. Now we will have our calculator set in the correct way. And if we clear our work and try those calculations we did at the beginning, 1 plus 2 divided by 3, and we go to our answer, we're going to get the answer that we really expected from bed mass, which is 1.66 and repeating. Additionally, if we try our calculation, 22 divided by 7 and go equals, we now get our value of pi to nine decimal places. So please reset your settings in your calculator so that you have the nine decimal places showing for each and also make sure that order of operations is being followed. Thanks very much.